So this video will show how to make a copy of an existing VoiceThread and give, give your Blackboard class access to it. So I'm halfway through the process. I have already in Blackboard created my link and clicked it the first time as the, as the instructor. I'm brought to this page where I've got the three VoiceThread blue buttons, which I explained in a different video. I always, personal choice, choose the individual VoiceThread option. And then it prompts me to reuse an existing voice thread or create a new one. Well, this video will talk about reusing, uh, reusing an existing one. So I could select an existing voice thread and I could just right now share that with the class. That would add the Blackboard course I came from to this voice thread that has already been created and it has a, uh, at least one other class already attached to it. So you can use the same voice thread with multiple Blackboard courses. And to do that, I would just you know, leave this as it is and just share this link, existing link, with class. I click the share class button at this point. Or I could use that existing voice thread as the starting point, make a fresh copy for this Blackboard class by using the make a new copy to share. So say we want to do that. So I want to make a new copy to share of an existing voice thread. So that will copy the voice thread and I'm going to add this class, Blackboard class, to it. So I can rename it. The default name is copy of. I can rename it because I'm making this video on April 4. So I'll say 404 POG voice thread. You can give it a description, enter tags. And when you copy, you can either copy just the slides, j just uh, the images, and include all comments get rid of all the comments and so just the images come in or you can uh, include only my the instructors comments so you get that choice when you copy I will include all comments on this now I'll make a copy so the voice thread was successfully copied and the final step is share with class so that voice thread has been shared with my course so I can go back to my Blackboard class and use the breadcrumb trail. There's my link. Next time I or any student clicks it, we wait for VoiceThread to launch and then we'll be taken to the new copy that has been created and deployed for that Blackboard class.